welcome everyone to our, our chat for today. So this is hosted by Headset Sports and our focus today is tracking and developing athlete mental skill, athlete well-being. And also in regards to our, our current times, but also we'll mention previous to COVID, but also mentioning in moving forward, the tracking of athlete skill development and mental well-being is extremely important. And being able to go through a system that lays out a, a method and is also data-driven is helpful in regards to those two aspects, that tracking and development of athlete mental skill well-being. We do have an agenda for today in regards to our talk. Jay and I will go through introductions of ourselves and headset. Um, quickly, we'll get to the importance of tracking uh, and developing athlete mental skill and well-being. We'll focus on, on three different areas. One is our athlete dashboard. So that's primarily for the athlete. Number two, we'll take a look at the team dashboard. And the team dashboard is different from the individual athlete dashboard as it goes through uh, group data. And then we will focus on data and reports that come from all this rich data that we collect. We're also gonna talk a little bit about notifications. The headset system, it notifies athlete of what they have to do next. So we have machine learning, artificial intelligence to help the athlete go through the system. They don't have to figure it out on their own. The system allows them to be able to process the information and we kind of focus on the areas where we think are most important. And then lastly, we have a, a, a wrap up and questions. We'll talk just a little bit about our, our social media because that's another place for athletes to get information from us. And as mentioned earlier on for, from the beginning of our conversation today, you can ask questions at any time, but we do have uh, an opportunity at the end uh, to go through uh, any questions that you have. A little bit more about me. So I'm the co-founder of Headset uh, with Dr. Galea outside of Headset. I work in a couple of different areas. One is uh, as a professor. So I teach at two different schools, uh, York University in, in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and the University of Guelph is in Guelph, Ontario. I work out of a campus, uh, a satellite campus out of Toronto known as the University of Guelph Humber. And then I'm also uh, practicing uh, sports psych, mental performance consultant, as we, we call it in, in Canada. And I have three uh, private practice offices. They're all in sports medicine clinics. And I primarily work with uh, higher level athletes, a little bit older, 18 and above. And they're, uh, they're striving and they're uh, very achievement oriented. So I, I get to work with a lot of higher level athletes. So national, international, pro, semi-pro and it's nice to be in that environment as I get to work with uh, various people in the, the sports medicine clinic, massage therapists, physical therapists, uh, sport med docs. Um, so I split my time between, uh, between teaching, consulting in regards to sports psych, and then uh, also the, uh, the headset sports piece. I'm gonna uh, send it over to, uh, to my colleague, Dr. Galea for an introduction and then he'll go into headset a little bit. Well, thank you everyone for being here today and taking time out of your day. It means a lot to us. And it's also exciting for us to, to meet new people and share with people our product that we would pull together a uh, headset. Uh, I have a small practice in, in San Diego. I've been practicing for a little over 11 years. I work with NCAA athletes, professional athletes, Olympic athletes, because we're lucky here in San Diego to be very close to one of the Olympic training centers. Uh, over the past few years, I, I've also taught at a small college here in San Diego called St. Catherine College, where I was able to develop a performance, sport performance program. We focus a lot on the mental skills uh, of athletes, coaches, and developing team dynamics that are conducive for elite performance. At the same time, I've also been very lucky to be connected with some of the professional teams in our environment, such as Team Wildlife Generation, which is an offshoot of Team Jelly Belly, which is a professional cycling team. And just this past year, I had a great thrill to be involved with our local uh, professional rugby team, and, and that's the San Diego Legion and uh, the professional MLR league. So over the past few years, I've been very lucky to, to be working with great programs and great people. And that as a whole has been able to help us propel our program to at an elite level 
with having access to incredible coaches and incredible athletes from all around the world with really rich backgrounds. And then that's helped us immensely develop headset as to where we are right now. So moving ahead, one of the things that uh, I thought we would do here is we jump into our next slide. Let me see here, Peter, if I can jump to our next slide here. Peter, I think I need you to, to yeah. advance the slide for me. Yep. So I'll go back to, to, uh, to being the host here. Okay. So as we all know, Headset Sports is a program that works on the development of mental skills for our athletes. And what we've been able to pull together is a program that really addresses things that we don't talk about. And that is how much time are we spending working on the mental skills of athletes? We spend a tremendous amount of time working on strategy, the physical development of our athletes, but how much time are we spending really training our brain? And that's where headset sports comes in. We come in to help athletes deal with all of the challenges that they're gonna face in elite competition. We also help the coaches immensely by giving them the knowledge that is needed to work with athletes on the mental side of their game, but also know that those things that might be say a little touchy feely that they may not have the background to deal with are being addressed. So just as elite teams are using high performance conditioning coaches, strength and conditioning coaches, as well as nutritionists, headset sports comes in to address these issues and help athletes and teams prepare. And, and this is what we're, we're all about and why we feel that our product is something that's gonna be immensely important for teams as we move forward. If you, if you can invent, that's great. So we have a couple of incredible quotes that, that have been provided to us by some of the users of headsets in the past year alone. And, and one of those gentlemen is the head coach of the Milwaukee School of Engineering's men's division three hockey team. And he shared with us one of the greatest facets about this program as a coach is, I just need to set my players up to begin the process and the headset system does all of the work. This has been one of the greatest quotes uh, provided to us because in speaking to more athletic directors, division one coaches, professional coaches, to be able to give something to their athletes and it not have to be something that's another add on to what they have to do on a daily basis is a huge asset. He then follows up by sharing with us since using the headset, our level of player engagement during team bonding and strategy, strategy sessions has grown immensely. How valuable is that? Now we're helping bridge the communication between athletes and their coaches, thus creating a tighter bond for athletes and the team as a whole. And we're noticing this at multiple levels in different types of programs, both at the elite level, say college and pro, but also within the academy programs that are really trying to build a strong bond with their athletes. So, one of the greatest thrills that I've had in the past year is to work with uh, San Diego Legion, uh, again, our, our local professional rugby team, and, and to work with their head coach, Mr. Rob Hoadley, who is a tremendous believer of the mental side of sport. And, 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 and working with him and his team over the past year, he's provided us with an immense amount of fantastic feedback. But some of the things that he shared with us are here in these two uh, quotes. He says, you know, much of what we do in coaching is to pre prepare our players to thrive in the most pressurized moments of the game. Headset provides a unique program to track progress of the mental skills required to embrace and perform in those circumstances. Tremendous feedback, tremendous testimonial from a coach who is, as you can see, the 2019 Major League Rugby Coach of the Year. So we're, we're really honored and to have that person on, on board with us to be using our product and to also be giving us feedback like this. Headset. So as you may or may not know, Headset is a mental training platform developed by sports psychologists, coaches, and athletes. We've been able to take on all different types of feedback 
from these three different areas of sport and combine it into something that not only provides artificial intelligence, but do so in a way that's customized to every specific player's needs. So when we designed this program, Peter and I, we wanted something that we refer to as live, a program that can evolve and move with everything going on throughout the season. So for example, players that might be doing well, who now incur an injury, that player is now going through an incredibly different shift in mindset as to what he or she may be going through. It's the same as a person who might have been told, guess what, you're a redshirt freshman, you're not gonna play that much this year, we're gonna groom you, bring you along slow, and all of a sudden, boom, you're thrown into the fire, and now you're a starting player. How does that change your mindset? What are the nerves, what are the anxieties, the stresses, and how are you gonna deal with that? And that's where Headset Sports comes in and creates customized programming for each athlete on every team. Now, how do we do this? Well, the secret ingredients to our program, to our magic sauce, rests in these five pillars. We look at confidence, we look at awareness emotionally, we look at stress management, and we look at motivation and resilience. Those five ingredients are what we refer to as the pillars of constructing your top athlete and helping that top athlete perform game in and game out. By addressing these five different categories as needed by each athlete individually is where we really create that customized feel, that customized program for that athlete. And that is what really makes us a game-changing, different program than anything out there. We're, we're not a generic program. We're something that creates something special for each athlete. Peter. So we're going to go through three important parts of the headset program, and then we're going to at times just kind of link it back to that athlete skill, athlete well-being. So we're bringing them together. They are different, but that's an important part in regards to um, the headset program and in our offerings. So we'll go in the order of, we'll go through the athlete dashboard first. We'll go through the team dashboard and then team reports. And then lastly, we'll go through notifications. So how we keep athletes motivated and on track with the headset system. Here's what the athlete dashboard looks like. And the athlete dashboard is specific to the athlete. So if all of us were on our, our team headset, we'd all have our own aspect of the portal. So it's private and confidential. Only the athlete gets to see his or her information. Coaches, parents, advisors, agents, people from the outside, they don't have access to the athlete dashboard. Only the athlete does. But the look and feel of it is what you see on this PowerPoint slide. The look and feel is the same. What's within it is different for each and every athlete. And for Jay and I and the people that work at Headset, we were really motivated and are still motivated to make this as customizable as possible. But the look and feel, it is all the same for the athlete. But what's inside of the athlete dashboard is different. Also, the athlete dashboard is data-driven. Headset is data-driven. So you're gonna see that there are, at the very top, there are points. We have weekly points, we have monthly points, we have overall points. And this is to help an athlete to see where their mental strength, mental well-being is. As Jay mentioned earlier, there are five specific pillars. The awareness, regulation, self-confidence, resilience, and motivation. Jay and I, and with the help of uh, the couple universities that I work out and the college that Jay worked at, we had an opportunity to have students help us out. So we collected a lot of data on the literature in regards of what makes an athlete successful mentally. And it really boils down to these five. Jay and I, with help of others, did not just pick these out of the blue. These are the five most important areas in regards to mental strength and well-being. Are there more? There is. And we look at more, we just wrap it into those five. So as mentioned, these are all the numerics. This here is the weekly points for the five pillars. And then we have the monthly points. 
And at the very bottom, it might be a little hard to see, but we track the monthly points from, uh, from August to September to October to November. So it shows your development over time. So one is to allow that person to be focused. Number two, to be motivated, right? We want athletes to be able to look at this place where they see their mental strength, well-being, and to be able to work with it. On the left-hand side, we call this the mental expertise area of headset. And this is where all of the interventions go. So every month, an athlete will get a 20 item assessment, a different assessment every month, looking at those five pillars that you see. And then from that monthly assessment, the first day of each month, once the athlete takes it, we're able to understand what the athlete has as strengths and what the athlete has as development areas. We work on a, the lowest score first. So the score that is in most needed development, there could be an athlete who has five high scores. We're still doing work. We're just going from the pillar that is the lowest. So we go from lowest pillar to highest pillar, but we work on all five of these each and every month. So we give customized interventions based on their assessment. We also help track how someone prepares and debriefs for their games or competitions and also for their practices and trainings. So we're constantly interacting with the athlete. It could be during the season, it could be in the off season, but we're constantly assessing, we're constantly developing, and then we are constantly trying to figure out what is specific for that person, right? And that's an important thing every day and then each and every week. Lastly, we also have what are called weekly updates. Every two weeks, Headset sends five questions to every athlete of Headset just for check-ins. And we look at mental skill, but we also look at athlete burnout. And this is important to see how this person is doing physically and also emotionally, mentally. And then final piece, we have this enormous video library of all these different videos. So an athlete can have so many different touch points almost every day with Headset. And what we say through headset is do work every day, minutes every day, right? And that's important because most athletes don't do mental skills training. And for the ones that do do mental skills training, it's only one or two times per day, even the elite athletes. So we believe this is a, an opportunity to have access to all this rich information that they can work with, but through the machine learning, artificial intelligence, headset can really help them understand what they need to work on at any given time. So that's the athlete information. The next one that we're gonna go through is the team dashboard. The team dashboard is for the stakeholders of the team or organization. The athletes don't have access to this. The support personnel does. So it could be a coach, it could be a manager, it could be a sports science individual, which includes the sports psych. It could include um, an administrator for the team. So it is the team stakeholder that gets the athlete dashboard, not the athletes. This team dashboard, it focuses more on adherence. You can track to see, are the athletes doing the work, but you're not able to see what the athlete is working on specifically. So that's very important to us because privacy and confidentiality is at the utmost importance. If an athlete believes that the coach can see what they're doing, if the manager can see what they're doing, or the administrator can see what they're doing, they will not be honest, they will not follow through. But why we created this part was for adherence and also for that common knowledge that Jay mentioned earlier in our conversation. So we want this to be something that everyone is involved. Just the athlete and the team, they have different portals. The coach manager can see, are the athletes doing their monthly assessments? So just an example, if 10 out of the 20 completed it, then on the monthly assessment side, you'd see it at 50%. So the coach, the manager can go to the team and say, hey everyone, we need to be able to do more of our monthly assessments. Those 
workouts of the weeks, we call them mental wows, those interventions. We assign them to the athletes and then we know when they have them completed. So does the coach or manager. The performance debriefs for games, we know how many are assigned because we have it in their calendar for the athlete and we know how many people have completed it. So we know for the week and also the month. And then lastly, we're able to see the individual leaders in the group, the team, based on how many points they get. So just an example, if Jason has the number one points, he'd be number one. If Rob had the second, Rob would be number two and the coach could see the points. If Peter is number three, we'd see his points. So then the coach can see who is doing the work. Is the group doing the work, but he or she cannot see exactly what the athlete is working on. We did not want headset to be used against the athlete by a coach administrator. We want this to be something that brings the team together mentally, not splits them apart. And once again, if you have any questions, unmute yourself. Feel free to go in the chat uh, function as we go through this information. Um, but once again, if you want to wait till the end, you can. All right, one more piece from me in regards to the data. As mentioned earlier, headset is data driven. All those pieces in the back end where an athlete will click a button on their phone, on their tablet, on their computer, it's all data. And here's just an example of a data set. We have all the players of a team. This was a university hockey team. We can see all the players and we can see the work that they're doing, but they're all data driven. So they're all numbers, fives, fours, 82, 85, 87. We know what it means in the back end and we're able to give that to the team. So it's all data driven, right? So everything that the athlete does and the athletes do on headset, daily, weekly, and monthly, we're able to bring together, amalgamate, and then give them back to the organization or the coach or the manager to have a deeper level. For us, there's a deeper dive that can go into it. Over the past couple of years, I've been the one at times to go through it. And I can, and the system can, find specific things that you wouldn't see. So it might look like everything is going well, but it might be one item from the assessment. It might be one item from the game. It might be one pillar from practices or training that we can take a deeper dive. And that for us is so important. So we have this high level view, and then we have this narrow view. And this narrow view at times, we're able to pick it out and go, all right, here's what we're getting to. And that's so important in regards to interventions, solutions, conversations that are done. So once again, that deeper dive is important. We can do it for the monthly assessment, the weekly check-ins that I mentioned, practices, games, right? All those rich data points for, for headset. And then the final piece are our custom reports. These are different than the team dashboard that you saw earlier. The team dashboard is just for adherence. Are the athletes doing the work that's assigned to them? But we have what are called, uh, we have three of them. Uh, one is called an overview report where we dig into the very beginning of the month. It's almost like a check-in. We look through your monthly assessment out of all the players. It could be 20 people on the team, 30, 40. It could be a, a football team, could be academy into the hundreds. But we'll look at the monthly assessment and go, all right, here's where you need to look into with your athletes in regards to their mental strength well-being. That happens and is given on the 15th of every month. We also have what's called a performance report. The performance report comes at the end of the month, but we go through performance. We go through your game performance, your practice training performance, and then also that burnout piece that I mentioned earlier for each and every group. And then we have what are called custom reports. If a group has specific needs, that they want us to look in the back end. Again, we have all this data for your group. We can split it up in so many different ways. We can look at forwards, I just put some examples here and read you just a few. Forwards, 
with defense and goalies. Let's look at their mental strength well-being in comparison. Maybe it's an academy that Jay talked about. Maybe we want to look at the U20s, U21s versus U18s and U17s. Maybe we want to look for a college, first year versus second year versus third year versus fourth year, that freshman to senior. Maybe you want to look at month to month changes with your group. Maybe you want to, if you go year by year, look at your yearly changes. 2020 versus 2021, 2019 versus 2020 versus 2021. So once again, and going over it one last time, that data is so important, but that's given to the organization and the people in the organization, not the athletes. The athletes, I want you to associate with that athlete portal, that dashboard. Jay, I'll give it back over to you. So one of the things that we have built in to the program is an, an understanding that everything runs on a calendar. So our system is based on a calendar where when we onboard teams for you, we can actually help you onboard a calendar that lists all your games, your practices, things that are coming up so that when the athlete receives their workouts of the week, you can do so in a way where we can get post game reports as well. What do I mean by that? Well, for example, let's just say we have a team that knows their entire season schedule. We can pop in all their games and the system automatically knows to check in with the athletes beforehand so that they have a chance to get their workout of the week done, whatever it is that they're doing specifically. And then at the same time, know to come back to them right after their games on the weekend and say, now give us your post competition report. What does all that do? That all feeds into this our notifications and reminders that help both the person who is overseeing the purveyor of the team, as well as the athlete individually. We remind them about the tasks that they have coming on up. We can give them little hints to say, hey, listen, you forgot to do something last week. Don't forget to go back and do it. And this is what it looks like. We also have within our application, that's both on the iTunes, Apple Store, as well as Google Play, platform to download our application there's also what we call push notifications that remind people hey listen there's something that you need to go back and complete we have some programs that are using push notifications to remind their players of updates of things going on with their team so we have little things built in that really make this conducive to creating a customized program for your team so that it becomes very very user friendly when the athlete goes into their private dashboard, they're gonna see the things that haven't been completed. For example, when you see that little box in front of you that's a triangle and has a little red box with a one in it, that's a reminder that there's one workout that needs to be done. When you look in the middle of the screen, that little triangle is, written, is red and it says overdue. It's a reminder for that athlete to say, you know what, you forgot to do something last week. Let's go back and do that. Wow. This also shows you the front of our application and what you'll see in the notifications box is when a message is sent to an athlete or to a team, a little reminder pops up. So on your application, when you download headset, there'll be a little one or two or three, whatever may be sent to that athlete in terms of notification, which reminds him or her, hey, I need to check out what our coaches may have sent us or our team administrator may have sent us or maybe the system has sent me because I'm behind in a few things that I need to do. So we really have created a program that works well with the, not just for the athlete, but for the team as a whole. When we're using headset, the idea behind it all was how can we create a program that athletes can easily use when they're on a bus, a plane, a train, whatever it may be. We have athletes that are using headset on their phone, their laptop, their tablet, or even their home PC, whatever is most convenient for them. Every one of the devices has all of the accessibility to everything that they need to work on, no matter if it's their phone or their home. So it's something that we have that's interactive. And as programs are implemented, we implement new videos, new wows, that automatically updates on both your tablet, your PC, or your phone. For those of you who have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at any time. Both Peter and I love 
talking with coaches, athletic directors, program directors. It's fun for us. We really have a passion for this. And getting the opportunity to work with teams and coaches individually to help them decipher the information that we're pulling from their teams. We enjoy this. We've been doing this for 10 years each, 20 years combined. And, and this is our passion that we have for sports and helping athletes as well as helping coaches dive in and get the most out of their athletes. You can follow us on social media. Peter does an incredible Instagram live every Thursday. We get on, we interview coaches, athletes, program directors, talking about that mental side of sport at big sport level and even small sport level. We do a podcast that can be found on, on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, anchor.com where we get a chance to talk to some incredible athletes incredible program directors and and get into that mental side of sport where they also share some incredible stories with us if you haven't had a chance to check out some of our our podcasts i would tell you please get on peter and i have done some incredible interviews with incredible athletes that have stories that will absolutely blow your mind and and when they get on and they start talking to us, it's so much fun. And the information that's shared, oh my God, it, it's a treat for any coach, any AD, or any athlete looking to, to get that next level edge, but also maybe hear some incredible insights. You can follow us on, on Facebook, Twitter, and we also have an incredible LinkedIn page where we send posts on a weekly basis of things that are coming up, things that are new, and things that are, are, are interacted with some of our users and on top of that once we have people jump on to our webinars or check out our website we're now able to send to everyone that clicks in our monthly newsletter so we're trying to, to dive on out there and maybe answer any questions or problems that coaches may have programs may have and then again further our reach out to the athletic community so we really hope that you'll click in click on and connect with us so with that i, I open it up to any questions that we may have that people might have regarding headset or, or maybe things going on with their programs. Okay. Please feel free if you have them in regards to the chat function, you can put it there. So, so I have one question, Peter, that, that that's come to us here yeah. uh, from one of our people privately. And, and they ask, um, what are some of the different age categories that presently use headset? So the age is 14 and above in regards to the use of headset. There isn't a age specific aspect to it that we would look at age. So we, we have 14 and above and competitive. It feels like the emerging athlete is uh, someone who who is able to kind of grasp the concepts so over 14 competitive uh, are a couple of of those demographics but it goes from being 14 and above but we have people who are 18 24 but also masters level who are in their 40s 50s who are, are still trying to get that edge and is performing at a high level there are people who recreationally use headset as well, um, but for the most part, it's that competitive athlete 14 and above. Excellent. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I also have um, just kind of one thing to add too. So the last few months for, for J9, the headset group, we've really focused on just what's happened in our society primarily North American in regards to our interviews that Jay was talking about. But this return to play and, and coming back, it, it, it is, we're hearing, and we know it is, it, it's tough for athletes, coaches, their parents, the administrators. It really is challenging and, and trying to figure out how to bring forward a competitive season uh, with our current uh, health crisis. And not to say the headset was not important before it's been very important performance wise, but it feels like now this kind of holistic look at athletes, but also the, the, the coaches, that the coaches have a lot of pressure. They're trying to do so much in regards to for themselves and their teams that this part 
that if we can kind of take away and just let the system do it, that the coaches are able to do other things, right? And then we can help the coach and support the coach. So Jay and I, and with others at Headset, we support the coaches a lot of times who then support their team, right? So as, as important people in sport for your athletes, as administrators, coaches, athletic directors, just so you know, we're here to support you as well as your athletes, right? And hopefully we've done that through the system, but also through our, our Instagram lives, as Jay said, our podcasts, our newsletters. For us, it's just trying to reach as many people as possible because still a lot of athletes don't do this. And that's a big reason why we created the system is because we didn't have this when we played. And probably when you played, you didn't have it either. And there's really nothing out there right now that allows us to customize a mental skills application, right? It's like, it's like f physically doing the same physical workout that everyone does. The strength and conditioning coach would probably see that and go, no, everyone is different. Why not mentally, right? Mentally, it should be the same thing. So Jay, we have another, another question here. When an organization is looking to customize their headset team dashboard, can you give examples of what organization, what, what organizations found important to focus on and what did it look like? So what, some of the things that we've received in terms of feedback is, uh, for lack of better terms, uh, a tremendous amount of insight and, and to some degrees a little bit of surprise when they see what's going on with their team as a whole and what their team as a whole might be working on. So what ends up happening is an interesting dialogue is created between coach, assistant coaches, managers, to be able to either say we're on track with our team and things are going well, or you know what, here's some things that we didn't notice about that might be happening with our team right underneath our nose that we need to address. For example, we've had scenarios where teams will be shown their reports that will indicate a good chunk of the team is working on issues revolving confidence. And coaches will look at us and say, I thought our team was very confident. I thought our team was doing very well in that department. What does this mean? Well, now this is where we can sit down with the coaches and talk to them about, tell us what's happening during practices, tell us what's happening during the games. How is it in the locker room? And now we're doing a deeper, deeper dive into, do you know your team? Do you know your athletes? And are we getting the most out of them? And from there, that dialogue is something that can really help coaches dive into, well, how do I communicate better with these athletes? What are some of the things that I could be doing to evolve my coaching game? And all of a sudden what ends up happening is a deeper, deeper connection is made between the athlete and the coach unknowingly. And, and uh, I can tell you some of the, the, the great joys that I have are working with coaches as we meet with athletes one-on-one -on -one and we learn about the things that are important to them and how that relates back to a team. And I, I had a great opportunity to do that last year with one of, the teams I mentioned earlier, you know, the professional rugby team in town and in helping coaches evolve how they're going to coach their players. What a rush that is. So that's one of the things that I would tell you that, that we are able to pull out of the information. So there's another follow-up to that period that says, how are the results found using the headset system are explained to organizations, coaches, and teams? Yeah, no, that's a good question. And as mentioned earlier, it's, uh, we have those custom reports that are sent out two times per month. But then if, if the group wants, they can have the help of a headset consultant to dig deeper into the data, right? So at times it is headset that helps support it. Sometimes a group has someone who's a mental performance consultant, but they can dig deeper. Again, they're all those kind of at the item level. And the work that I've done with a few teams uh, through headset is I love digging into the items where I can go, like Jay was mentioning that maybe your resilience is high, but maybe it's just the one area of your resilience. An example, there's a, a pro soccer team that was using headset uh, in North America and the resilience was high, 
but they weren't overcoming mistakes quickly. So long-term resilience was there. Short-term mistakes and then recovering from the mistakes was an important part that we were able to look at and then give to the coach and their support staff and say, okay, you need to now help your athletes recover quickly. We almost kind of like within headset and some of our interventions, we call it failing fast. So you gotta, you gotta fail fast. Other people call it like failing forward. So you gotta fail fast. And that's a difference in regards to resilience. Resilience is a broad area that we look at, but there's so many subcomponents. Plus I'll add one more. All of these five pillars of headset, they are somewhat related. So mental skills are related to each other. So resilience with confidence, confidence with motivation, awareness is the foundational part to all the pillars, right? So if the group's not aware of how they're feeling, if they're not aware of their strengths, development areas, then right there, we're able to understand that. So being able to have dialogue with the people of the organization, be it coaches, managers, sports science, it's like Jay said, an awesome conversation. And as you can tell, Jay and I get excited because that's doing work with the actual system. So we see it as a tool, right? It's a, an additional tool in the toolbox for athletes, coaches, and teams. Totally. Yeah, great question. Thank you. Any other questions, thoughts, comments? All right. So, so how long does it take to set up an organization with the headset program? How quickly will the organize see results? Wow, that's a fantastic question. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll say for, for athletes, it takes a minute or two. That's all it takes. It's so easy to be able to get onto the, the headset system. So registration wise for the athlete, a minute or two. Organization wise, it's very easy as well. It really is just a few minutes. We do a little bit of upfront work to understand how many athletes you have on your team. Let's onboard them. But once the headset team dashboard is ready to go, very intuitive, easy to use. Uh, so to the question, it, it truly does take minutes uh, with the organization just taking a, a few more minutes versus the athlete. With regards to how quickly will your organization see results, I, I can tell you this. Um, when we first put this program together, we were amazed with how quickly young athletes were embracing this. In the beginning, you're, you're always wondering, you know, will people enjoy your sauce that you're cooking? I can tell you that we were amazed when we saw how many kids were at a young age, we're talking 13, 14, 15, 16, just flying through the system, using it diligently. And within weeks, we heard results back from coaches saying, our guys like it, they're using it. And I can see differences in their personality. I can see their differences in who they are in the locker room and how they're condoning themselves as they're playing. And I'm noticing subtle differences. Now, that obviously could be because of the fact that the coaches are now more in tune as to what their athletes are, are doing while they're not at the facility and part of their training regimen. It could be for several other reasons, such as the athlete is gaining more insight as to who they are as a person and who they are as an athlete. But it's incredible to see how quickly that both parties not only dive into it, but can observe from each other differences. And, and we've also had on the back end, talking to athletes, differences that the athletes have noticed in their coaches over time. Because their coaches have changed maybe their demeanor the way that they handle certain problems, the way that they handle the team as a whole, the regimens they've created, how they seem to be more in tune with the team. So it's not just a one-way direction that this program provides insight. It's a multi-direction facet that this program provides insight all the way around through the whole organization. So, so thank you for asking that question. It's a really good question. So I think that's it for, for questions, Pete. All right, so uh, we'll call it a thank you everyone for joining us. We really appreciate it. 
once again, if you have any questions for Jay and I, please feel free to uh, get a hold of us and then we'll put back our information here. So my email is, is peter at headsetsports.com. Jay's is jay at headsetsports.com. Our general email is info at headsetsports.com. So any one of those, please feel free. If you have any questions that you have or for your organization, please let us know. And once again, thanks for, uh, for joining us. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. Take care. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.